everyone. This is, sorry, I have to flip the camera around real quick, but this is Mary with Mary's Chit Chat. Thank you guys for uh, clicking onto my video today. Um, I'm just going to make this real short and sweet only because I only have a few minutes um, before I have to start getting stuff ready. Um, and plus it is Christmas Eve and my son is down here running around and watching a movie. So it, I didn't want to get too loud in the background. But I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up. I went today to a, a Bath and Body Works slash White Barn. It's like a side-by-side -side store. Um, I had one of the worst experiences I've ever had before at a retail store. Um, let me not say the worst experience, but it wasn't a good one. Um, it wasn't one that I usually have. Um, I think I'm going to do an in-depth video after Christmas only because it's the holidays and I already kind of did a little rant on my Instagram. Um, and I don't want to bring it here on YouTube right now. Um, everybody's, you know, in the Christmas spirit. And just because I had a bad day doesn't mean, you know, you guys have to watch a video that dampers up your day, especially if, you know, you just came in here just to see what I got. Um, so I did a couple of returns today on a couple candles that I just could not get with. Um, one of them was one of my gather candles because I didn't have any throw on it whatsoever. It didn't perform like my other gather candle. Um, and it kept pulling um, on one side. It was going down more than any of the other two wicks. So it was just a complete dud. Um, and then I returned, um, I think it was cinnamon Irish cream. Yeah, the one from the fall. So I tried getting with it. I tried burning it in my room a couple of nights. And you guys, to me, it just smelled like butt. Like, <laughs> I don't know if it was the batch that I got because everybody's saying how much they love it. But me personally, I, I couldn't hang. Um, the three times that I burned it, I totally, I blew it out after the first hour. Um, it engulfed my entire room. It was very strong. Um... On cold, it was more tolerable than it was burning. Burning, I couldn't take it. So I exchanged those two candles and um, I think it was a body cream or something like that. So anyway, I just wanted to get on here real quick and show you the two candles that I got. So I found these two candles sitting on their little table on the white barn side of the side-by-side -side, um, Bath and Body Works and White Barn. Um... They, it looked like most of the stuff was probably exchanges on that counter because there was a lot of older candles. There was a Santa's, um, it was, it's a Dear Santa, uh, milk and cookies candle back from 2017. Um, there was a few more that I looked on the bottom on the, um, batch numbers, which are right here where it says 9334K3A1. That is obviously, it, this was poured in 2019, the 334th day. Um, so this is pretty fresh. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and then I got this one there too. And I know this is a 4th of July candle um, or came out just before the 4th of July because I got one in 4th of July instead of the blueberry pie candle that I was going to get, I got one of these instead. Um, this one was this year as well, 2019. Um, it says 9122AGA2. So this was 2019 um, on the 122nd day. I don't know the rest of that batch number stuff on there. I don't know what the rest of it means. But either way, both of these were poured in 2019. Um, but it looked like this one was on the side, the berry waffle cone that I got was on the side where it had most of the spring scents that they're starting to put out. And this guy right here, I found this gem um, over on the table that I was talking to you guys about where it looked like it was probably returns or whatnot. Um, but you guys, I love this candle. Um, it it is Friar Cracker Pop, red cherry, fresh citrus, juicy berries um, with essential oils. All of them essential oils, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I let my boyfriend smell this and he's like, oh, it smells like fruit punch. So <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> I feel like it's something that's going to be good for the summertime. Um, I remember getting one of these before, like I said, um, but you guys, I don't remember what I did with the candle because I don't have it. 
Um, I'd have to probably look through my crates or whatnot. I don't know, but I, I don't know where it's at. So I saw that. That was the only one that interested me because the rest of them were like Black Cherry Merlots. Um, what else was there? That one um, Milk and Cookies one that I saw. But it reminded me too much of um, the Merry Cookie. And I'm just not. I The Merry Cookies that I have, I think I have like two or three. I'm good on the ones that I have. I didn't feel like it was something that I needed to repurchase or exchange um, a candle for. And I found these ones more interesting. So, And then Berry Waffle Cone is Sweet Summer Berries Golden Waffle Cone with Creamy Vanilla. It smells so good. This one smells really good. It does smell like one of those waffle cones that you get um, at the like Baskin Robbins, something like that at a shop where they have ice cream. Um, ah, that smells so good. Kind of smells like a rhubarb pie or something. Maybe not rhubarb. Something sweeter. Berries. <laughs> anyway, so those are the two candles that I picked up and I picked up a thousand wishes um, cream, hand cream thing today. So that's pretty much it. I just want to come in here and do that and do a quick little rant. But like I said, I'm not gonna go fully into depth with what happened today until after the holidays, only because I don't want to damper the mood of anybody and I'm over it. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll probably do that in the video after Christmas, um, but before the New Year's because I want to leave that negativity in 2019. Okay. So, and don't let that stop you from going to Bath and Body Works or White Barn, you guys. It was just my personal experience that I had today that wasn't so good. Um, but every other time, this was my first time going to an actual White Barn in my area. Um, so it was kind of disappointing, but every time I walk into Bath and Body Works, especially the ones in my local area, the stores that know me, um, I love those ladies that, that work there. They're all amazing. They've always been amazing and it's not going to stop me from going to a Bath and Body Works, but, um, yeah, anyway, so we'll get into that later. Um, right now I am burning, um, peppermint marshmallow and look at that. I, I cut off the wicks, but... <laughs> I was too lazy to get up from where I was, and I just threw them over there. So messy. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, um, and a fresh burn on vanilla snowflake. Now, these two kind of remind me of the same scent, kind of like they're in the same scent family. Um, and I just wanted to know how it would smell with both of them combined. So that's why they're both going right now. Um, if anything, if I start to smell something funky or if I don't like the mixture that I'm trying to um, have here, then I'll throw one upstairs or I'll put one in the kitchen and um, I'll have one here burning in the living room um, or I'll put one upstairs in my bedroom, however I decide to do it. But for right now, I just felt like these two are a good combo. So, um, I mean, on cold, they... They smell so uh, similar to each other. So I went ahead and did that. All right. So yeah, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to catch me on Instagram at cozy lights underscore cold nights. I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.